Hello YouTube, my name is Talented FK. I'm a pro solid researcher and my niche is focused on keeping skin natural, organic and authentic. In this video, I will be teaching you the best and effective way to create dodge and bond layer. So let's just get straight into it. I've retouched this picture using dodging and bonding. So here's the before and this is the after. So if you want me to make a video on a, a complete video on how to dodge and bond, let me know in the comment section below but this video is teaching you the best way to create dodge and bond layer so the best way to create dodge and bond layer what you need to start doing after removing the blemishes with which i have not removed here because just because just because i want to make this tutorial i went and brought this raw file the, the first thing to do is to blow the texture layer you want to blow the texture layer so that you can all you can see is the highlight and the shadow you know dodging and burning is all about highlight and shadows trying to blend the transition between the highlight and shadows to make the skin very even so the first thing is to duplicate the layer after removing the blemishes like i said and rename this blur ref we are going to rename this blur reference so i'm going to just a shortcut blur ref then I'll convert, I'll right click and convert this to a smart object. A smart object is a layer that will give you the forum for you to adjust anything you want to adjust without actually going the long way. So I'll go to fill, then I'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So I'm going to apply blur to this. So a blur radius of five is okay or six or four. It depends on how sharp the image is so this i'm going to apply a blur radius of five then i'm okay so assuming i'm not okay after imputing the blur radius of five i'm not okay with it instead of going to filter again that this is where the smart object layer makes it very easy for us i can just double click here and change the radius here so the next thing i'm going to do is to create the dodge layer and how to create the dodge layer we'll start by creating the dodge layer so i'll go to curves here if you can't find curves you can come down right here and go to create this create new filler adjustment la adjustment layer i'll click here then i can be able to pick curves so this curves here for dodging i'm going to push in the brightness up like this then i'm going to hit ctrl or command i to invert this max then i'm going to rename this as dodge so this is our dodge layer dodging is all about brightening a particular place so if i'm going if i pick my brush and just paint over here you see i'm brightening here so which means i'm dodging so the same thing with burning how to create a burn layer i'll come down to the create new fill adjustment layer then i'll i'll select curves but this time i'm going to pull down the brightness like this then i'm going to hit ctrl command i to invert this then i'm going to rename this as burn so this is burn so if i'm to pick a brush and just you see i'm darkening the hair so which means i'm burning so i'll then i will select a whole command or control on pc to select the dodge layer then i'm going to hit Control or command G to group everything together, then I can rename this as D and B, or I rename it Dodge and Burn. It says Dodge and Burn. So I've created it, my Dodge and Burn layer, but the next thing we need to do is to create a help layer. A help layer normally is a black and white layer that will help you to see the highlight and shadows correctly so how to do that is i'll come down to create a new filler adjustment layer i'll select solid color i'll make sure i pick a white color a gray color or a black color but the white is much more easier to pick so white then i'll come here and change the blending mode to color so i have a black and white layer so now you see i can be able to see the highlight and shadows correctly but we need to add a contrast layer which means we are going to add another curves layer so we we'll come down here pick curves then I'm, we're just going to bring down the brightness of this curves a little bit to your satisfaction how you can be able to see the highlight and shadow so i'm going to hold command and select the color fill layer 
then I hold command G or control G to group everything together and I'm going to rename this as check layer we call this check layer is a black and white layer that help us to see highlight and shadows correctly so this is it this is the best and effective way for you to create dodging and burning layer so if I want to dodge and burn which I said if you want me to do a complete video on how to dodge and burn let me know in the comment section below and I'm going to provide you guys with that video how to dodge and burn from start to finish so this is the effective this is the best and effective way for you to create dodging and burning layer so i hope this video helps someone out there please if you like this video please give me a like the video and hit the subs subscribe button to and subscribe to my channel you can share this with your friends this my channel is dedicated to learning solid retouching i'll be dropping a video every week on solid retouching see you in the next video peace